Hey guys, it's Krigli again with another ROM review and this time I've got one of the highly feature filled ROMs available for S3 and that is the Ultima ROM V15 Titan which is the latest generation of the uh, Ultima series and it is based off of the Samsung uh, latest firmware which is XXEMH1 latest by Samsung officially that is a Android 4.1.2 ROM so uh, let's get into it here is the lock screen okay uh, you really can't see that because it is really bright you see the Ultima logo in the center and you have these options this is AOSP lock screen and this is not exclusive it has a lot of other lock screens available so uh, let's get into the ROM here is the uh, Nova launcher which is uh, actually selectable okay you have the option to select a bunch of launchers at the time of installation please go to my uh, installation guide to uh, have more uh, well, to have a uh, guideline on what to select uh, while installing this ROM so please check it out from the description description below now uh, let's get into it uh, let me just decrease the brightness a bit okay here is the Nova launcher which is selectable you have other options like uh, apex launcher uh, the hollow launcher also the touch with launcher so the choice is yours and uh, well this is uh, themed at uh, by the uh, JB denomination theme so domination or denomination whatever that theme so it has a uh, JB style so it uh, you can see blue style and uh, the icons in JB format so that is pretty neat so uh, what is about this ROM okay this is the most feature filled ROM stock ROM available for S3 because it has all the features all the modifications available on XDA and other sites in build onto this ROM so it's pretty much the mother of all ROMs I guess so uh, let's get into the settings page okay it has three uh, paged setting which is uh, neat let's go to about devices here you can see the um, about the phone okay here is model number is this okay android version 4.1.2 the baseband here is given as this but the build number is xxemh1 which is the latest uh, official version by samsung status reader someone mentioned he wanted to see the status uh, of reading so here it is uh, IMEI is working because uh, you have to select the appropriate modem file for it to work so I want to stress that again so if you have any doubt in that please message me or well if you want my help please message me okay so I would be honor to help you guys okay so let's get into what all comes with it okay uh, you have a few different kernel options okay you can select uh, Biofla whatever what I'm using now uh, Sia kernel speed uh, mode kernel and uh, another one more kernel I guess uh, you can see the installation video for that uh, well, as of now I'm using Biofla kernel which is uh, well, my favorite kernel on the stock firmware okay uh, it has a lot of features well configuration files it's pretty neat it has a lot of features GPU CPU uh, sound features which is by far my favorite uh, LED uh, fading etc etc you can see that in another video if you want okay now the camera also you have a few of the options to select the camera you have the basic s3 camera which is what I'm running now uh, you have the light version you have the uh, Nexus version of the camera also available for selection so really you have a lot of things to select for okay so that's pretty neat a lot of apps to install okay you have the ability to select uh, themed that is inverted G apps or the normal G apps so uh, it depends on what you want I personally selected the normal G apps so that it can update over uh, Play Store so the inverted ones are modified so they won't get an update over the Play Store so keep that in mind it has headphone shortcut for S3 but uh, I found this one FC and it doesn't work I don't know if after it loads fully it doesn't work so I don't know what the problem is with that but hey I can live with that yeah here is what I talked to 
about so multi control widget multimedia control widget you have the ability to use the um, all the apps for multi window so pretty neat again paper artist it comes with PCM recorder which is pretty neat again let's start with the uh, apps again okay these are the apps which with with which it comes okay pre installed you have the option to select whatever you want but I have selected everything so this is everything you can see all of these neat pretty neat uh, s note s planner everything s planner also has a uh, different themes available s voice has different themes available samsung go neat again okay i haven't uh, installed i haven't um, done the uh, google sign up yet so you might not be able to see google wallet it has google wallet it's not available in india so i can't use that so uh many of these apps require updating the uh, Google Apps especially need updating so I would suggest you go with the normal themed uh, G apps rather than the inverted G apps so but, but still uh, up to you okay so let's get into settings again and see what are the features okay you can see the standard uh, uh, settings of Samsung here the connectivity settings uh, NFC nearby devices case and device settings like blocking mode, sound, display, everything. One thing I want to know to show you guys is that it has lot of funds. It did have a lot of funds. So uh, I was using uh, Roboto Contents. I don't know what happened now, but it was having a lot of funds when I installed it uh, previously. So really lot of themes like 500 uh, funds. So pretty neat. Now uh, let's get into the Ultima ROM advanced settings. This is the main cherry on this Sunday. So this is like it has a lot of features. It really keeps this ROM apart from the others. So uh, let's get into app settings. Like it is for the uh, these apps, uh, which with with which it comes. Okay, these apps have uh, its own settings. So there, boot animation is uh, like you can select the zip file and sorry. Uh, you can select the zip file and you can have the custom boot animation uh, so if you miss uh, there is an option to select a boot animation uh, in the installer so if you uh, have selected one and if you miss if you want to select something else you can extract the file from the zip that is the installation zip and you can select choose the file from here so uh, it's pretty neat call settings again uh, call recording functionality uh, SMS in call log if you want it or if you don't want it blocking mode call settings like these uh, well it's accessible here and now kernel settings okay it is for BFLA kernel or whatever kernel you choose from there if it's you choose CA kernel you can have uh, S tools in there okay now launcher mode um, it is not compatible if you select I guess it is for a touchwiz launcher or uh, some other launcher not Nova launcher I guess lock screen settings it has a lot of lock screens okay now first of all uh, wake lag it is for this uh, you can read that like uh, sometimes you will have a lag when waking up the uh, phone that is because the phone goes into the deep sleep mode so if you don't want deep sleep you uh, turn on the phone quite instantly you want the phone instantly on you can uh, toggle zero wake lock so wake lag okay so that's there now uh, as you saw the lock screen there it was AOSP right but you have all these lock screens. The favorite, well, my favorite is BlackBerry 10 lock screen, which is this one. You have this, pretty neat, I guess. Uh, it has a lot of them. Okay, uh, Sony, Sony Xperia lock screen, which is this one. I'm sorry, I'm uh, suffering a bit from a bit of a cold. So this is the Xperia lock screen, pretty neat again. Uh, HTC. That's the ring thing, I guess. Yeah, it is the ring. You have the option for that too. Uh, LG Optimus. Again, uh, nice lock screen from that. These lock screen. Okay, it has a lot of lock screen, uh, basically. Okay, so uh, you can select whatever you want. Acer Cloud. That's the first time I'm seeing that. Let me see that. Okay, <laughs> it has a lot of lock screen. It has a lock screen torch control. You can press the home button that is in lock screen. You can press the home button for lock screen. Okay, that is a quick release, so that's pretty neat. Xperia uh, wallpaper picker. If you are using the Xperia uh, lock screen, you can use wallpaper from that. 
so pretty neat again ink effect for samsung uh, lock screen it does have samsung lock screen so if you want to do that okay here is the standard samsung uh, options for lock screen in here okay quick camera access everything like that if you're using samsung lock screen that's uh, important uh, i guess that much is about uh, lock screen settings now mod settings you have all these mods too okay ext to internal sd mod which is enable or disable the ext okay it uh, swap, swaps your sd card external sd card with your internal sd card why and vice versa so you can use that if you have a higher capacity uh, sd card okay and device host name you can change the device host name and uh, do that well you have to have root access you really have root access right now uh, music controls you ha you can uh, skip track or do anything like you have various options here with the uh, volume keys in lock screen so it's pretty neat again i use it to skip tracks navigation bar you can have your navigation bar enabled or disabled you need to uh, restart your phone okay pi controls lmt pi controls it's like the mother of pi control so okay it's not working uh, it it works i guess uh, I did make something, uh, I did have a problem there. Uh, so, and uh, LMT Pi controls uh, in mode settings, okay, LMT Pi controls, LMT controls is like the mother of all Pi controls, so that's great, it works pretty neat. Volume panel timeout, all these. CRT animation, you can enable CRT animation like this one you have to enable that for it to work so yeah that's there now extend the power menu long press to kill long press menu button to kill app so pretty neat again and uh, power toggles here is the power toggles okay uh, something about this what you see here is the lidroid power 25 toggles so it a, it can be changed you can have samsung toggles you have to restart restart system ui for that to work so you have these options in Lidroid you can uh, enable toggle buttons that is uh, 2G, 3G, everything you can enable all of these so uh, be be there use it up so pretty neat I guess uh, colors you can select the colors uh, black and toggle off colors if you are using Samsung toggles um, yeah pretty neat again status bar settings again it has again lot of features battery icon you have the uh, all of these settings like gauge you can see that i guess you can see that it's the gauge battery icon style battery bar you even have the option for a battery bar okay uh alarm icon keyboard icon ime selection so pretty neat again you have the network text here the upload and download speed you can have that enabled again so i guess that is it about samsung settings okay you have a theme for that too yeah here it is the light theme so that was about uh, uh ultima rom advanced settings which is like the best feature about this rom now you can you have the uh, no other settings available on the s3 this is normal settings so yeah that's pretty neat again so that was a lot of settings so uh, that is something which i wanted to show you guys so um i guess that is it about the ultima rom okay again i can't stress this enough it has all the features in the book it is really it's really fast okay but i can't guarantee uh, a high speed with all these features enabled so if you want a full speed rom i would suggest going to a samsung ROM or a aosp based rom but if you want features of this caliber you can't go wrong without uh, with the ultima rom so it's really the ultimate rom for s3 now uh battery life is pretty good i was able to i i normally keep it in power saving mode so uh, i am able to uh, get a day uh, of um, using the phone so it's pretty good i wouldn't say it's the best but it's pretty good but with all these features you can't expect it to be much higher okay so pretty neat um i guess that is it about uh ultima rom let me show you guys one boot animation because i have installed what for the ones so i will show you guys one boot animation and uh let's be off uh restart recovery it does have this uh 
power of animation so so here is the ultima rom original boot animation i selected the ultima rom uh, original boot animation you have other options like uh, sony uh, samsung official uh, Ulti in, in ultima rom setting ultima boot animation setting you have a lot of other ultima like bios loading uh, ultima 2 a lot of them uh, you can select those uh, again so pretty neat i would say this is well kind of like the best rom which i have seen for the galaxy s3 i am more about features than anything else uh, i'm not much of a battery freak i'm not much of a uh, anything else so it's pretty neat i would say it's one of the best roms available for galaxy s3 again so uh, i guess that is it so see you guys next time please uh, subscribe like and share the video if you really like it so uh, again see you guys next time bye